Hello folks, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. Now if you have not seen yet, Evernote have released a new feature. It's weird being able to say that because Evernote haven't been good at releasing features for the last couple of years, but they have released a small addition to the Evernote Home, allowing you to now view your calendar, basically allowing you to connect up existing notes and create notes based on a calendar event. So a nice new addition, if you're already using Evernote for more of a productive system, let me show you how it works. And then we'll talk about things like how this feature will be practically used, what it means, and also some of the more recent pricing changes that they're aiming to make in the near future. So for those who don't know, Evernote have just released this brand new feature. It's essentially calendar, much like what Craft have done with their calendar embed or integration, allowing you to see your calendar events and be able to create notes from that, which is a nice addition. Uh, I wouldn't say it's uh, like a huge feature, however, something that's probably well accepted by Evernote users right now. So as you can see here, it appears uh, inside of the Evernote home, you can add it as a widget now. Uh, you can see and set up any Google Calendar. So as you can see here, I've set up a Google Calendar and you can manage accounts from here, which means it takes you uh, out of Evernote and allows you to connect up your Google Calendar uh, and other calendars. Now, what I'm going to show you is how it works practically. So this is connected to my Gmail calendar um, and you can do this thing called uh, add or extend the view, the calendar view. So as you can see here, it's pulling in any of my events. So for example, uh, I can see that the Grand Prix is this weekend. So what I can do is I can create a note for that event really easily now. That's a great new addition being able to create a note. And what happens when you create a note is that the actual the actual event appears at the top of the, uh, the item, uh, the new note, and also the title gets brought in as well. And you also really nicely get an actions list and notes. So what it's assuming is that you're gonna do this for meetings. So that's really a nice uh, addition, especially for those who take regular agendas or meeting notes, which is something quite handy. So the other thing you can do is you can go into insert and press Google Calendar. Calendar. So this is a way to connect up something that may already be in your calendar or something you would like to reference. So in this example, I might use uh, Liam insert and what it will do is now when that actual note pops up, it essentially will connect that note to this uh, existing calendar. So that will be helpful for referencing it in the future and bringing in more details to that specific calendar event. Now let's go back to the home area. As I said, you can expand the calendar view. You can also add calendar view, but you can see it as a timeline view as well. So for example, if you want to see it as granular as this, um, you can, and you can also see there that is the note that was created alongside Liam there. So very helpful, and you can also see the event when you click up. You can link it to an existing note, you can create a new note for the event, and you can find re related notes. So for example, if there's a topic, say you've got a important meeting, sales meeting or something like that, then it can bring up other notes that are related. I'm assuming what it does is it takes a title of the meeting and compares it against any existing notes you have inside of your Evernote and just brings those up. So as you can see here, this this new widget is available inside of your home and you can add it, change the size of the widgets and the location as you can imagine. But that is a nice new addition. It's been in beta for a little bit of time now, so I haven't been able to talk about it. For example, I can just quickly view that while I'm inside my Evernote home so I can actually plan our dinner date for a Thursday night. But what I really like that Evernote are actually doing is it seems like they're starting to weave in the tasks, the calendar, which is a really nice new addition. And what's good is this, this the fact that you actually find related notes and linking to a note really hints at a future for Evernote having some sort of linking ability like we've seen in Obsidian and Rome Research. So folks, um, as you can imagine, Evernote doing, some, uh, doing something in the background, which is actually good to see see and I'm in my opinion I think this new edition of calendar uh, really opens up the roadmap for Evernote in the near future. Whilst it's a smaller feature it's definitely something that Ian hinted to that the widgets will continue
continue to become more productivity based and even more useful. I don't think we actually have a tasks widget yet to be able to see preview of the task, but I'm sure that's coming in the near future too. Okay, so Evernote have also made some uh, updates, updates to the Evernote subscription plan. There isn't been any official like sort of wording on what they'll be including. However, they'll currently, uh, they currently have Evernote Basic. They're changing that to something called Evernote. They don't know, they haven't given the title to it, but the pricing of the plan will not change. It will be free, but you'll be able to uh, keep certain Evernote services and potentially drop them, I believe. They're also looking to remain and keep the Evernote Plus plan, which has actually disappeared more recently. And some changes come to Evernote Premium, but I'm gonna pick out some of the specific wording because I haven't actually updated the pricing and details about that. They say it's gonna come in a couple of weeks. However, they said you'll automatically be upgraded to a new, more powerful Evernote plan, which is good. So premium users that are ready with Evernote will get more powerful options. And also your updated plan will also include new features to help you stay on top of your day. So the wording of that, there's sort of two breaks down here, will include new features, which means that, you know, in the near future, I think Evernote will make it more that a feature will fall under the pricing plans, which is good news because uh, premium members will get features a bit like in the past that they've had, you know, like premium members could have business card access on the scanning. So that is a little bit of wording detail that hopefully is good news instead of, you know, necessarily like just changing the way that the megabytes and uh, sort of gigabyte access is per user, uh, and also help you to stay on top of your day, which to me sounds more of a productive system. Uh, and what I'm talking about there is notes, calendar, and tasks, and involving those three more as one, uh, which I think is just maybe an overall analysis, but at the same time, stay on top of the day. For me, when I think of Evernote, I think more is more of a static experience, but them saying stay on top of your day feels like they're going to be making it more of a management system so that you go to Evernote to actually stay on top of your day versus to just take notes and sort of keep it there, if that makes sense. So interesting wording. Um, maybe I'm over in uh, overlooking this or making um, making uh, too much analysis of this. They also uh, will keep the Evernote business plan and they said you'll automatically get access to brand new features to help you boost productivity at work. So they still want to keep that, but it will get a new name apparently. Um, so it'd be an interesting day to do the updates on the names. So folks, uh, not a huge, huge update by Evernote, but definitely something that I think will be well accepted by people who are already using it. I think that now Craft has got this, now other applications are starting to weave in the calendar where they can. Evernote have placed themselves really well here. Good to see another update from them. So folks, um, that was just a short update. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you're new here, do subscribe and we will talk very soon. Cheerio guys. Thank you.